Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about making your Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition world shiny and awesome and cool where the real world sucks. An opportunity for you as a Dungeon Master to really highlight the value of living in your Dungeons & Dragons world and some steps on how you can do it. All right, so um, this is something I'm really starting to think a lot about, right? When, when a player comes to our table, we have this incredible opportunity. All the things that suck in this world can just be gone and fixed and perfect in our Dungeons and Dragons world. And it, it's, it's in the edges, you know? It's not, it's not the monsters. It's not the, the villains. It's in all the moments where you're painting that world, right? And this is one that can be, re- I think, is really, really special, and it's a huge opportunity. So, uh, my favorite disaster movie in the world is Twister 1996. I absolutely love it. I watch it at least two or three times a year, never more than once a season. But it's it's one of my favorite films. I absolutely love it. All right. And in that movie, um, one of the things that happens is uh, Billy, Bill, and Joe. Joe is female. Um, they are they are married and they are signing divorce papers. Bill's already signed the divorce papers, but Joe won't, right? And so Bill goes to get Joe's um, Joe's divorce papers, and it becomes evident, and Bill is going to get the signed divorce papers because he has a wonderful new fiance who he's given a gigantic ring to, and they are in love, and they are very they have a very healthy unconflicted relationship. And the 1996 Twister says that a marriage that is a hair's breadth away from divorce has a hundred times more value than a healthy relationship between a man and a woman who are unmarried. Amen. I'm so down with that, right? Like, you know, save things that are of value and marriages are of incredible value. Okay. Now, it's unlikely that many that any if uh, it's unlikely that any of your player characters will ever be married in Dungeons and Dragons. It's just adventuring life does not really pair well with with marriage, right? So, but there is something that it is in every Dungeons and Dragons game, and that is vows, right? In the Dungeons and Dragons world, people don't make promises; they vow. Okay, and here's the thing: that's all a marriage is. It's just a vow. It's the most special vow anyone ever takes, right? And in America, it's just a burning platform of suck, right? Americans routinely find someone, say to them, I will love you forever, and make that promise public and official, right? And then have no regrets, no remorse, no fault, literally no fault, when they say to the person, They said that they would love forever and love the most. By the way, I've been married uh, coming up on 30 years. I've been married 29 years. So, um, you know, it's it's incredible, right? This year, uh, on December 21st, 1991, I'll be married 30 years, right? Never been married before that. You know, one one marriage to one woman. All of our kids are ours. All of it, right? The traditional wedding, right? Um, And, you know, we're coming up on 30 years and routinely, I see people who say, I chose this person. I chose to love them. I promised them I would love them forever. I made that vow public. And then I've signed an official document with the state, right? And sometimes, some people will even say, I even made this vow before God, right? And now I'm breaking, right? And there's no consequence, no recourse, no big deal, right? Like, it's it's incredible. And you're like, what the heck, right? But in your Dungeons and Dragons game, vows can matter, right? So when you when they go to a farm, okay, and the farm building is burning, and and, and actually the farmer's home uh, is burning, and the farmer's barn is burning, right? And his wife and his children have been killed, and there's goblin knives in him, and he says, "Please, please find those goblins. Make sure that they don't do this anywhere else." Promise me, make a vow here on this land that you will do this, right? When, you know, at this point, when your player characters are there, right? When the vow is 
requested. You should interrupt, you know, right there in that scene and say, as he whispers these words through blood-choked, you know, uh, spasms, right? The clouds are coming in, black clouds, you know, in the night, right? Overcasting on the moon. S- small bits of rain come down, right? And the farmer asks the player characters again, please, please, vow to me, promise me, you'll stop this, these goblins from ever doing this to another family, right? When that, when the, when the player characters look at themselves, right, and they decide if they say, "I vow it," on your on the on, on this soil and grab a you know a handful of dirt, right? Lightning should strike in the sky, right? You want to punch a vow because while vows don't matter in this world, none, literally none, right? Promises are crap. They're they're worthless, right? We as a nation are saying that vows to our favorite people made in public, signed on the dotted line for the government, mean nothing, right? In this world, vows and promises mean nothing. They're less than contracts. How sad is that? How sad is it that when an American makes a vow, it's less valuable than a contract, right? But in D&D, when your player characters make a vow, man, the bird should sing, lightning strikes, the sun comes out, it sh- nature itself should sign, you know, the vow into the memory of the world, right? And when they complete that vow, right, they should be heralded as heroes and reward should shower down upon them, right? And I, as an American, <laughs> think that we should try to make vows matter as much as they they matter in the great tabletop role-playing game Iron Sword, right? It, it vows matter, right? And in Dungeons and Dragons, it's one of the few places where it can still matter. Well, that's my opinion. I'd love to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.